Today I'm going to install the HEPFO valve kit that we purchased from Little House Customs on our Casita trailer to alleviate some of the gray water issues in, in the shower. The job was pretty simple. It required a saw of some sort to cut the existing PVC sewer pipes off. I actually used a multi-tool. It was a lot easier to get it in there, but a handsaw would work. Also needed some screwdrivers for the clamps and that's basically it. The job wasn't very difficult. It's just a matter of cutting the old pipes off, gluing one section on, which is similar to gluing sprinkler pipes, and then attaching the rubber elbows with worm clamps. Yeah, so the only problem I encountered with this kit was trying to thread the HEPVO valve onto the shower drain. The threads were just slightly tight and I ended up having a difficult time starting it and I had to use pliers to get it started. Remove the support strap closest to the gray water tank. Cut the existing PVC pipe on the gray water tank side leaving the first elbow intact. Cut the existing PVC pipe vent T as close as possible to the vent T. Remove the worm clamp nearest the shower drain. Remove the conduit clamps that secure the shower valve located inside the closet. Remove the shower valve handle. The directions say to unscrew the coupling nut from the shaft, but we missed this step. Remove the existing assembly. Remove the old sealant from the shower valve hole. Butter the shower valve hole with sealant and insert the included plug into the hole. Clean the pipe. Align the new T with the pipe stub. Glue the new assembly onto the closet vent. Tighten the clamps. Reinstall the support strap. Add the second elbow. Unscrew the plastic trap adapter from the chrome shower drain. Screw the angle adapter from the HEPVO valve directly to the shower drain. Unscrew 
Attach the HEPA valve to the angle adapter at one end and the rubber elbow at the other end. Make sure the ribs of the HEPVO valve are pointing downward. Tighten the clamps. Hey, check out our next video!